Hey creatives, I'm back with my first video for 2018 and it's an art journal page. As you can see this page already has some paint and some old book pages collaged onto it because it's one of the pages that I started in my video sharing 12 tips to help you start an art journal page with acrylic paint. Now if you didn't see that video, here is a link to it and there's also one in the description as well. Now if you're one of my regular viewers, hey everybody, nice to see you back in 2018. I know, it only seems a couple of days ago or so that I was talking to you, but it was like a whole year ago, way, way back in the distant past of 2017. Anyway, for those of you who've been keeping up, this is now the fourth project that I've shared the what happened next story from those starter pages that I made in that 12 tips video. I said I've shared the results and I hope you've been enjoying them and I hope they've been giving you lots of ideas and inspiration for your art journaling as well. So this is one of those pages that I didn't have a plan for and I thought I'd just start it by adding some hot colours to go with those lovely cold colours that's already on the page. The only thing that I knew about this page is that I wanted to use a particular product for it and that was a die cut that I really love. And it's one from Waffle Flower, it's called the Doily Circle. But it's one you've seen me use before because it is one of my favourites. So other than that, I had no real plans for this page. So you're watching it grow and develop as I go along. So this particular die cut is made from craft card stock and it was just left over from another project that I'd used it in. And as you can see, what I'm using it for is to mask off and add a little pattern to the background. So this is like my third layer on this particular page. We had the starter layer, then we had the hot color layer, and now we're having a masking layer. And I'm using a piece of sponge to just apply the paint. And you want to put the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest amount of paint onto your sponge. And then just dab it over your mask. And I'm mixing three different colours to do this. So I've got a pink, a purple and a white. And the precise name of the colours are listed below in the description. And by using these three different colours together, I can get a nice variation of hue across this element. layer was drying I was kind of thinking about what to do next and I decided in the end that I would go with a, a flower shape. So to coordinate with that original starter page I've got the same old book pages that I used to collage into it and I'm just colouring them up adding a little bit of tint with some acrylic paint and a sponge. A quick burst of the heat tool because I don't have the patience to wait for this to dry all the time for that matter. And once that's done, I'm just cutting out the size of the flower that I want. And you could just draw a circle in pencil around the kind of size that you want it to be, but I thought I would just cut it out straight and that would give me an idea of how big I wanted it. So, as I've said, I'm really looking forward to sharing with you some more creative stuff through 2018. And I was just wondering what kind of things you're going to be getting up to this year. Have you had a thought about, are there any techniques or projects that you've not done before that you want to try out? Do you have any creative plans for this year? Well, maybe I should just say goal. I kind of don't want to say the word goal in January because we're going to hear it a lot. But I'd be really interested to hear if you've got anything that you're sort of itching to do and get started on creatively. Or maybe it's something you do already that you want to build on. So let me know, I'd love to hear. And whilst you're at it, if you're finding this video helpful or interesting, please do like it and share it and become one of my subscribers if you aren't already. I really do appreciate every single one and every single person who comments and likes and shares and watches. So a massive thank you in advance. So for my new year, I've started with some commissions that I really need to get done. Deadlines looming as usual. And of course, I've got video content that I want to get filmed and ready for you guys. But I think one of my main creative goals this year, sorry, I used the word again. One of my aims this year 
is to keep working on my style and sharpen up my drawing skills and my painting skills as well. Plus I've got some other things that I really want to nail down this year and get sorted. Things that I've been thinking about for a long time that I've just been unable to focus on. Things like offering more in my shop, setting up some workshops that I think you guys are going to love, sorting out my shops in places like Spoonflower and Society6 and Redbubble, those kind of places, the print on demand services, and other ideas and plans that sort of buzz around my head pretty constantly. But it's just working out where to direct my energies and which ones I should really sort of put some focus on this year. But such is the freelance creative life. So let me know what your plans are for 2018 and maybe we can support each other in those, dare I say it, goals for this year. So I just thought the flower could do with a little bit more colour just to accentuate the petals a little bit more, make them stand out a little bit more from the page. But I'm not colouring the whole flower, I'm leaving some bits of the original colour and some bits untouched, just to add a little bit of variation, makes it more interesting to look at. I felt the page needed some more detail in it, so I added some pen detail. I'm not really sure I made the right choice in the end, because you can't really see it. But to be honest, I just left it as it was. It wasn't so bad, and you know, sometimes something really works, and sometimes it's a bit nah. But you're not going to know unless you try it. And that's what an art journal is all about. Finding those things that work for you, and finding those things that don't work for you. It's your place to play. So a touch of gold and regular gel just to stick all the elements in place. And like those butterflies on that first 12 tip starter page that I shared a while back now. Here's a link in case you've forgotten. I've applied the gel in the centre of the flower and at the ends of the leaves. For the butterfly page I put them in the centre of the butterfly. And I like doing that because you kind of get a bit more dimension as the element comes away from the page. Okay guys, well, thank you again so much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and that you're inspired now to go and do your art journaling. I'll see you again in a few days time. Have fun creating!